Hello friends, welcome to TechLeg video tutorials. Today I am going to give you one very important interview question on data breaks. How to call one notebook from another notebook? So this is the frequently uh, expected interview question and uh, it also is very important you should know when you are working in particular environment how to call one notebook from another notebook. So I have here uh, two notebooks here, notebook one which I am creating uh, three variables or you can say three widgets, one is drop down uh, even another one is drop down odd and uh, I'm exiting a notebook okay using success and I have another notebook here so I'm I want to trigger that notebook one okay here so there are two options we can use we can call a notebook one notebook from another notebook using percentage run using percentage run then full path okay that notebook path so that notebook one name here you can see it's a home then if you have any parameters if you have any parameters widgets you can pass this up so this is one method we can run so just i'm attaching cluster then running here you can see i pass that parameter value one two three here odd here you can see and the another parameter value four four six six it's printing then third one is m i think m i don't have any variable here let's look at the notebook one yeah so only two two variables and the fourth variable here before variable only i'm exiting so that's why it is not executed till this it's executed okay so exit means it will stop here it will stop the execution we can use this uh, data bricks utilities that notebook that exit if you want to exit particular command it will run from top to down till this exit then it will stop previous sessions like previous commands will be executed after commands it won't be executed like this the whatever here we are using this drop down variables so directly we can pass here okay there's one method called percentage run here you can see that if you're not using any of this variables what will happen it will take the value from that existing notebook it will take the values from existing notebook so the values here you can see default value is 2 and 1 so this is the way we can go for one method is then another method we can use the data bricks utilities okay another method we can use data bricks utilities notebook dot run okay and there are two parameters with the notebook name with the url and the timeout with the seconds and third parameter if you want to pass any variables widgets we can pass like this so i will use third one which and uh, i will get that this status also whatever we are using existing notebook right that exist status also i will get into this variable so here i am passing here you can see like we can pass the multiple parameters widgets values like this just i'm running see even i'm passing 55 or i'm passing 66 whenever you're running databricks utilities notebook run it will run as a job here you can see if you want to see this you can see in job see here it is triggering as a job and whatever you are passing widgets parameter that values here you can see and finally it's exited then here you can see the parameters whatever you are pa passing parameters those two parameters and those values so this is the way we can go for calling one notebook from another notebook one notebook from another notebook so whenever you use a percentage run directly it will be executed here and those state will be there available in this notebook itself and you can use any variables or reference directly from that notebook to this notebook but whenever you use a parse db utilities notebook run okay so this will be triggered as a job here you can see and this written as a status whatever we exited that so exit notebook status success 
I have taken into variable then I have print that so it will be created job like this so this is the way we can go for calling one notebook from another notebook percentage run so this one it won't work in community edition so it will work only in enterprise edition so you can use this okay so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel thank you very much